good. Hi everyone and welcome back for another ASMR video. And the subject for today is something quite interesting which I was fascinated from since I was young. And uh, let's discuss about some great Native Americans tribes. Well, the Native Americans, they're also known as American Indians, or simply Indians. First Americans, indigenous, and there are some other generic terms. But the main fact is that these people are contiguous United States that are lived in United States and Alaska. Today there are 574 federally recognized tribes living within the United States borders. And half, about half of them, they are associated with Indian reservations. All right, so now I'm going to start with each uh, tribe and we're going to discuss the best facts about them. And I'm going to start with the uh, Cherokee. Well, the Cherokee are one of the indigenous people of the southeastern woodlands of United States. So, southeastern woodlands of United States. Prior to the 18th century, they were concentrated in their homelands in towns along river valleys of what is now southwestern North Carolina, southeastern Tennessee, southwestern Virginia, and edges of western South Carolina, even in the northeastern Alabama. Good. Now, the next tribe, or the next indigenous people that I want to talk are the Navajo. The Navajo are also Native American people of the southwestern United States. And with more than 399 enrolled, 399,000 enrolled tribal members as of 2021. The Navajo Nation, like they are called, it's the largest federally recognized tribe in the United States. Additionally, the Navajo Nation has the largest reservation in the country, the Navajo Reservation. All right, and Let's move next. Okay, what we have here? Let's say just a moment. Let's God. Oh, we have the Apaches. Well, everybody knows Apaches, right? Well, there are Apache communities in Oklahoma and Texas, and some reservations in Arizona and New Mexico. Apache people have moved through the United States and elsewhere, including in urban centers. The Apache nations are politically autonomous. They are speaking several different languages and they have their own distinct culture. Back in the history, if we analyze the homelands of the Apache native, 
they have consisted of high mountains, sheltered and watered valleys, deep canyons, deserts, and uh, southern Great Plains, like eastern Arizona, northern Mexico, or New Mexico, West Texas, and southern Colorado. These areas are collectively known as Apacheria. All right, now, um, the Apache tribes fought, fought the invading Spanish and Mexican peoples for centuries. The first Apache raids on Sonora appear to have taken place during the 7th centuries. In the 19th century confrontations during the American Indian Wars, the U.S. Army found Apaches to be fierce warriors and skillful strategists. Maybe that's why they are so legendary. Good. Time to see what's next. Okay, let's well, let's take Lakota. Well, also known as Teton Sioux. Teton, Teton Sioux. They are one of the three prominent subcultures of the Sioux people with the Eastern Dakota and Western Dakota. Their current lands are North and South Dakota. Maybe mm -hmm. that's why and that's why the name of Dakota came from Lakota. They speak Lakotiapi, the Lakota language, the westernmost of three closely related languages that belongs to the Siwan language family. Right. Very interesting facts. And um, then to pick up the next one. So, Alright. Hmm. Well, let's let's take the Cheyenne, 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 or Cheyenne. Well, the Cheyenne are indigenous people of the Great Plains. At the time of the first European contact, the Cheyenne lived in what is now Minnesota. They were close allies of the Arapaho and loosely aligned with the Lakota. But by the early 18th century, they were forced to west across the Missouri River and into the North and South Dakota. And they adopted the horse culture. Right. Interesting facts about Shane Wright. Good. Well, time to pick the next facts about the next tribe. Oh, now this one is interesting because it's about the Comanches. Comanche or Comanches. Well, Comanche are a Native American tribe from southern plains of the present day. Comanche people today belong to the federally recognized Comanche nation, headquartered in Lufton, Lufton, Oklahoma. Well, some cool facts about Comanches is that in the 18th and 19th century, Comanche lived in the most present day of northwestern Texas and ancient areas of eastern 
New Mexico, southeastern Colorado, and Kansas. During the 18th and 19th centuries, Comanches practiced a nomadic horse culture and hunted particularly bison or buffaloes. They traded with neighboring Native American people and Spanish and French American colonists and settlers. As European Americans encroached on their territory, the Comanches waged war and righted their settlements, as well of those of neighboring Native American tribes. Well, a particular effect is that they took captives from other tribes during the warfare, and after the prisoner are used as slaves, or selling or they sold them to the Spanish and later, later Mexican settlers. Well, they were decimated by the European disease warfare and encroachment by Europeans on Comancheria. Most Comanches were forced to live to live on reservations in the Indian Territory by the late 1870s. Well, that was some cool facts. All right. Okay, next. Good. Let's just. Ojibwe. Ojibwe. Uh, I hope I pronounce it correctly. It. It's O G I B W E. The Ojibwe. Ojibwa. Chipewa people in what is currently they are lived in what is currently southern Canada, the northern mid midwestern United States and the northern plains. They are or were indigenous people of the subarctic and northeastern woodlands. The Ojibwe are known for their birch bark canoes, birch bark scrolls, mining and trade in copper, as well as their harvesting of wild rice and maple syrup. Right. Next. So. Chickasaw, Chickasaw. Well, the Chickasaw are indigenous people of the southeastern woodlands in the United States, of course. Their traditional territory was in northern Mississippi. And northwestern Alabama western Tennessee and southwestern Kentucky. They had interaction with French, English and Spanish colonists during the colonial period. The United States considered the Chickasaw one of the five civilized tribes of the southeast as they adopted numerous practice of European Americans. Most of their descendants remain as residents of what is now Oklahoma. The Chickasaw Nation in Oklahoma is the 13th largest federally recognized tribes in the United States. Good. Time to check out the next native tribes, which we're going to be, let's see. 
Well, this will be interesting. It's Kiowa. Kiowa. K I O W and A. People of Kiowa are native American tribe and indigenous people of the Great Plains of the United States. Well, Kiowa people migrated southwestern from western Montana into the Rocky Mountains in Colorado in the 17th and 18th centuries and eventually into the southern plains by the early 19th century. In 1867, the Kiowa were moved to a reservation in southwestern Oklahoma. Actually, today, they are federally recognized as Kiowa Indian tribe of Oklahoma, with headquarters in Carnegie, Oklahoma. Cool facts, right? Okay, so which will be next? Right, we have Shavni. Well, they have the homeland was likely centered in the southern Ohio. In the 17th century, they dispersed through Ohio, Illinois, Maryland, Delaware, and Pennsylvania. Today, Shavni people are enrolled in three federally recognized tri tribes, and all of them headquarters in Oklahoma. Well, actually, it seems that Oklahoma is the big center of the capital of the native American people. All right, so let's move next, which will be next, next, next. All right, let's take a look of our Osage nation, Osage nation, people of the middle waters. This is the translation of Osage nations. Is a mid, my Midwestern Native American tribe of the Great Plains. The tribe developed in the Ohio and Mississippi River valleys. They immigrated west after the 17th century, settling near the confluence of the Missouri and Mississippi rivers. But this was as a result of Iroquois inv invading the Ohio Valley in search for new hunting grounds. By the early 19th century, the Osage had become the dominant power in the region, feared by all the native neighborhooding tribes. In the 21st century, the federally recognized Osage nations has approximately 20,000 enrolled members. And members also live outside the national tribal land in Oklahoma and in other states around the country. Cool facts, right? Amazing ones. Now, <laughs> let's take the next ones. So, Which will be good. Let's talk about Arapaho. Arapaho. Well, the Arapaho are Native American people historically living 
on the plains of Colorado and Wyoming. They were close allies of the Cheyenne, Cheyenne tribe and loosely aligned with the Lakota. By the 1850, Arapaho bands formed two tribes. There were Northern Arapaho and Southern Arapaho. Since 1878, the Northern Arapaho have lived with the Eastern Shoshone on the Wind River Reservation in Wyoming and are federally recognized as the Arapaho tribe of the Wind River. Wow, um, this was too complicated for me to understand all of them, all the facts, but um, uh, looked very interesting, right? All right, which will be next? Let's see. All right, Katavma people. Katavma people. Well, Katavma people are federally recognized a tribe of you know, of Native Americans. They are also known as Katavma Indian Nation. Their current lands are in South Carolina and Katavma River near the city of Rock Hill. Their territory once extended into North Carolina as well and they still have legal claim to some parcels in that state. They were once considered one of the most powerful southeastern tribes in the Carolina Piedmont, as well as one of the most powerful tribes in the south as well. The Catavba were among the East Coast tribes who made selective alliance with some of the early European colonists. When these colonists agreed to help them in their ongoing conflicts with other neighborhooding uh, tribes. During the American Revolution War, the Catavba people supported the American colonists against the British. All right, perfect. And which will be next? Well, Let's say Crow people. Yes, Crow people. Crow Indians are plain tribes who speak the Crow language, part of the Missouri River Valley branch. Of the 14,000 enrolled tribal members, an estimated 3,000 spoke the Crow language and thus these were the statistics in 2007. During the expansion into the West, the Crown Nation was allied with the United States against its neighborhood rivals, the Sioux and Cheyenne. In historical times, the Crow people lived in Yellowstone River valley which extends from present day from Wyoming to Montana and North Dakota. Well, well let's say bizarre facts. And now the last tribes and these are known as the plain Plains Indians. Well, Plains Indians or indigenous people of the Great Plains 
and Canadian, Canadian areas are Native American tribes and First Nation band governments who have historically lived in the interior, interior plains of North America while hunting, farming cultures have lived on the Great Plains for centuries prior to the European contact. The region is known for the horse culture that flourished from the 17th century through the late 19th century. Their historic nomadism and armed resistance to domination by the government and military forces of Canada and United States have made the Plain Indians culture groups to archetype in literature and art for Native Americans everywhere and they adapted in all the regions they were moved. Well, that was cool, amazing and uh, very interesting of course <sighs> thank you very much for watching and um, I hope you enjoyed this video it was something like uh, something special and it's the first time when I uh, but not the last time when I'm touching this kind of subject but if you uh, you, if you like this video, please leave a comment below. I want to know your opinion about, or maybe some suggestion for next subjects for ASMR videos. Until next time, which will be an ASMR geography or geographical ASMR video, I wish you all the best. And don't forget to subscribe you if you aren't. It's the only support that I'm asking. Bye bye. So that there she was. Go, 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 go